Good morning, room 207. How are you doing today? Great. It's good to be here with you, and this is your um, last lesson in the how-to writing. And um, the first part of this lesson is what you can do as writers to make your how-to books easier for your reader to follow. And the second part is how to start your publishing. So for the first part, I'm going to go ahead and um, show you an, the other book example that I brought home with me. And this is A Garden in a Bottle. And I've used some post-its here to mark some pages that I wanted to show you. And to make your writing easier for others to follow, you have numbered steps, but you also have something called captions. And these are captions. And captions are words that are right underneath your steps or right underneath your pictures. I'm going to show you how to add those captions. And then the other thing you can do is to add a page that's titled what you will need. And in that page, just like it says right here, you will list all the things and draw pictures of what the person will need to follow your instructions. All right, let's get started. So what you need is you need your the paper you've been writing. You will also need something to write with. I like to use markers. And you will need your what you will need page, which is this one. And in the what you will need page, this will go before or after your main page, depending on how you want to organize your book. You will draw the pictures first, and then you will list the items. Okay, ready? So the first thing you will need when you do cinnamon toast is bread. And these are not sentences. Bread, comma, two slices. Okay, and then the next picture will be the next thing. Butter. Butter or some kind of spread. Because I don't use butter. I use a soy spread. I don't need milk. And then the next thing will be the sugar. And you could say what kind of sugar, brown sugar, granulated sugar. Okay, and then of course the cinnamon. Okay. And then in the last one here, I'm going to add the utensils. Utensils. And then I'm going to put something called a semicolon, and then I'm going to write knife for spreading. And it's important that I say for spreading because there are spreading knives and then there are cutting knives. Plate. Toaster. And then maybe a beverage. Beverage to wash it down. And then I will draw those things. There's my plate. There's my knife for spreading. And there's my soy milk. And then my toaster will be in the background. Okay. And then captions would be what you would put in your book underneath the pictures. So you would put bread, toaster, spreading, spread butter, add 
add sugar. Okay, and those are captions. Okay, one more time. You are what you're doing is you're making your book easier for someone to understand and follow your steps. The last thing you're going to do is you are going to do your how to page. How to, and my book is called Make Cinnamon Toast. And then I'm probably going to draw me smiling with my cinnamon bread toast. in the background. Okay, and then by Miss Philip. And one thing I didn't include was an author's page, but you can go ahead and use a scrap paper. And do a, what about the author page? Oh, I'm sorry. About the author page. Not what about the author page. About the author page. And then you would draw a self-portrait. And the important thing about the author page is that you write it in third person. So you're writing it like somebody's writing it about you. Miss Philip lives in Seattle. She teaches second grade at Daniel Bagley Elementary. Her favorite thing, her favorite things, her favorite hobbies include reading and running. She has two cats. She also has two cats. And that would be your, what about, um, you're about the author page. So that goes last. First, I'm going to put this second. How to make cinnamon toast third. About the author page last. And then the very last thing you do is read it all to make sure there are no mistakes. Okay? How to make cinnamon toast Miss Philip. What you will need bread, two slices, butter, or some kind of spread, sugar, cinnamon, utensils, knife for spreading, plate, toaster, and a beverage. How to make cinnamon toast. First, now make sure you put those, those words in there. Gather your ingredients bread, butter, sugar, and cinnamon. You will also need a toaster, plate, and knife. Next, next, your next transition word, your first transition word, take two slices of bread. Take, take two slices, oh, I forgot of, see, you always catch your mistakes, of bread and put into toaster. Press the lever down to toast. Now wait. After the toaster pops up, Spread the butter on the one side of each slice of toast. So here I made corrections, and when I did that, I added them with post-its. Instead of crossing them off, I added, I wrote them on post-its, and then I cut and pasted them in there. Then, sprinkle on sugar, and after, dust on the cinnamon. Last, enjoy the cinnamon toast with your favorite beverage. About the author, Miss Philip lives in Seattle, 
She teaches second grade at Daniel Bagley Elementary. Her favorite hobbies include reading and running. She also has two cats. Oh, period. Okay, and then you can color it off and make it pretty and you're ready for publishing. All right, and I hope you have a good rest of your day and a good weekend. Remember to add those words, first, next, after, then, last, for all your steps. Okay, revise and edit with post-its. Okay, all right, have a good rest of your day.